Hey YouTube, it's Echo Bear, and today I want to review an app that has been a long time coming and I wanted to get to it the first week it came out, but I'm actually kind of glad that I didn't. Today we're going to be talking about Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. Now before we get into talking about this cute little app, let's get through the serious stuff. So Animal Crossing Pocket Camp is made by Nintendo, and pretty much this is a simulation game, it's an adventure kind of just Animal Crossing game. And its age range, it says, is for ages 4 and older, which, fair, it's an Animal Crossing game, it's really cute. So yeah, that's pretty much all the serious stuff about this game, now I get to talk about it and why it's so cute, yay! So, Animal Crossing Pocket Camp is the most recent installment in the Animal Crossing series. Is it a true, tried and true Animal Crossing game? No, but if people expected that, shame on them, honestly. Because expecting Nintendo to do a full release, like, in, like, addition to a Nintendo series, like Animal Crossing, on a platform that is not their console, is not one of their handheld consoles, but is on iOS and Android devices, like, if you expected that, like, what way? <laughs> I don't get anybody who's upset that this is like a watered-down version of Animal Crossing or anything like that. That really doesn't make sense to me, and if that's what you were expecting, please just be patient, just like, Nintendo's probably gonna make you a real one soon, so just, I don't know, be happy and enjoy this game. <laughs> I don't know. This mainly comes from the fact that the Chrissy Teigen tweet about how upset she was that this wasn't a real Animal Crossing game, like, that kind of got to me. Because... Honestly, for what this game is, it's really good because I went into this expecting much, much more watered down, many, like so many more transactions, so much more waiting time and all of that stuff because what I was seeing from video game journalists at the time. What I thought I was going to get from this game was like a lot better than what I was expecting. Like, my expectations were ridiculously low because of video game journalists and what they had been writing. So, for what you do get in this game is honestly really fantastic for an Animal Crossing-ish game on a mobile device. I reviewed a couple of games that try to be Animal Crossing-ish before that literally nickel and dime you, like, you can't use your tools without paying money, you can't plant seeds without paying money, you can't, like, a lot of games do this nickel and dime you for every little action, but Animal Crossing still keeps its happy tone, gives you options to expand your house, which in this game is an RV, and just gives you a huge array of stuff to do within the game itself. So if you want to just go around and treat this like a normal Animal Crossing game, decorate your RV, collect fish and bugs and fruit and sell them to buy stuff, uh, you can. But like that aside, you can add a lot more to this when you actually engage in this game and do what it wants you to do. Like. I've seen several people mention this, and I full-heartedly agree with it, that this is not meant to be a full-fledged Animal Crossing game. It's not meant to be played like those games where you have to check in, like, day in and day out and have to be giving it a lot of attention. This is pretty much Animal Crossing where you can pick it up, go do some errands for some people, go help them out, and just enjoy the environment that you're in. So that's one of the main reasons that I get frustrated when people complain that this isn't a real Animal Crossing game. In spirit, yes it is. In gameplay and as far as expansiveness, not really. But Nintendo has been adding a lot of stuff to this game. Like recently, for the past few weeks leading up to this review, they've been releasing new animals to add and invite to your camp on a really consistent basis. Uh, they've been adding new items, they add festival items, um, they're, they added in the garden aspect to this game. 
which a lot of it opens that up into being more akin to an actual Animal Crossing game and just and gives players the opportunity to kind of treat it as a Animal Crossing game in your pocket. So complaints. I really don't have any. I know from talking with my friends who aren't necessarily into the Animal Crossing series or games like Animal Crossing, where it's pretty much like, go do the thing, you get the thing, continue doing thing. Like, um, at least Explosion mentioned that it feels like chores, but to me it just feels like going around and helping people and enjoying like what you're doing as you're doing it. So if you already don't like Animal Crossing games and don't like vibe with that whole genre, then you genuinely aren't going to like this game. However, if you do, this game is fantastic. You can run around and help people. You can make stuff for your animals. That's another complaint is that some of the things require way too much cotton and materials. Like, if you do plan on playing this as a very, very relaxed and easygoing game, then it will get a little frustrating as you get to higher levels because different villagers will ask for things of more and more quantities and the game will slow down quite a bit as a result. But if you do play it on a consistent basis and like do things as you need to and also hook it up to my Nintendo rewards, uh, the game gets a lot easier and progresses at a really consistent rate. And as far as just music and aesthetics, it's an Animal Crossing game. The music is awesome. It changes pretty, not hourly, but it does change with morning, um, morning, noon, and night kind of things. And so, and also where you are at in the game. And it just, it has that genuine feeling and enjoyment that an Animal Crossing game does give you. So a lot of people, when this game was first coming out, was mentioning like, oh my god, I can't wait to give Tom Nook my real money. And honestly, this game is like super playable without spending any money. Literally the only reason that you'll need to spend money at all in this game is if you're really impatient. So if you have friends or if you just run into people and send out friend requests, you'll be able to get into Shovel, Sw Shovel Strike Quarry like nearly constantly. If you want things to complete sooner, I mean, I guess you can pay. There are the specialty items, which are KK Slider and Tom Nook, where if you place them in your camp, KK Slider and or Tom Nook will be hanging out in your camp which it's awesome to have KK Slider in your camp. He just kind of hangs around and plays guitar, which awesome. But those are just all extra things. This game is fantastic. It doesn't really shove things in your face. It tells you about special offers, but literally Isabel just pretty much throws the leaf tickets at your face on a near constant basis. So just overall, the game is fairly well balanced. There's a lot of stuff to do in it. For an app game, like, it's just a mind-blowing amount of stuff to do within this game, and it is pretty akin to a tried-and-true Animal Crossing game. So, hopefully with Nintendo Direct coming up in the next few weeks, we will get announced, hopefully, Animal Crossing for the Switch or another one for the DS. But until then, Animal Crossing Pocket Camp gets a 10 out of 10 from me. It is a fantastic game. It's an awesome way to just hang out if you have friends that play it with you. It's awesome to be able to put stuff in your box that they need and vice versa. It's just cute and enjoyable and super fun. And if you're already into these games, I highly, highly recommend it. If you're not into these games, you may disagree with my rating. And I would honestly say, give this app a pass if just you already know that this isn't your thing. Like, don't waste your time. Go play something that you do like. But thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you look in the link down below if you guys want to download this and for some reason haven't already. Uh, make sure to stick to the very end of this video to see more stuff that I've done. I hope you guys all have a lovely day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!